You know what, the idea of extraterrestrial life actually comes from the worldview of evolution, not biblical creation. Now this is because if evolution is happening and it's really not a big deal, then there should be thousands of other planets just teeming with life. Okay, so first of all, I just wanted to say that, that that idea does not come from the Bible and I don't believe that it's actually supported. We'll get to that in just a minute. And, and that idea also means that there would be life at different levels from different planets. That's right, yes. So you've some got, would be more advanced, some would be not, exactly. Exactly, and so you exactly. would have, I mean, if, they, if it was possible, you'd have people in spacecraft flying here and all that kind yeah, of stuff. exactly. All right, exactly. go ahead. Well, now I want to talk a little bit uh, scientifically. Um, First of all, there's absolutely no evidence of uh, life in outer space. And um, SETI, which stands for the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, they've admitted that they haven't found a shred of evidence. They've never found any radio signals from space. And um, I want to put a quote up on the screen here because in 1950, Professor Enrico Fermi asked a really good question. Um, he asked, are we the only technologically advanced civilization in the universe? And if we are not, then where are they? Why haven't we seen any traces of extraterrestrial life, such as probes or transmissions? And this has come to be known as Fermi's Paradox. Mm -hmm. And it asks a really good question. Mm -hmm. you know, and here we are, many years later, and still we haven't Nothing. received any radio signals. And we've also, by the way, sent signals out to systems. And some of them are yes. still actually on their way because it, space is so huge that it takes so many years for it to get there. Yeah. Um, there are people that actually, we, we send radio signals out, and a lot of people don't know this, but my background is radio engineering. And uh, there are actually signals that are still on their way that we sent out 30 years ago. Yeah. They're traveling at the speed of light, but they're on their way. Well, you know, it takes eight minutes just for the sunlight to get to the Earth. I mean, that's how, we're talking about huge distances here. Yeah. You know, and light's fast. Yeah, it you is know? fast. So, I mean, that's, that's a problem. Now, um, biblically, I would say, we have some clues here. Um, out of the six days of creation, only five were spent on the earth, or five, five of those six days were spent on the earth. That's a lot of time to spend on the one planet. That is. However, in the description of the other planets, uh, referenced as stars, it simply says, and he, God, created the stars also. Or in Hebrew, just simply the stars also. It's like an afterthought. That's uh, Genesis chapter one, verse 16. That is fascinating. So, I mean, I think that I think there's some problems there with claiming that there's extraterrestrial life out there, especially if you are holding to the Bible. I totally agree with that. Now, with that in mind, you, we've just messed up everybody's ideas because everybody loves Star Trek, everybody loves Star Wars, and they like to see the little creatures and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So we've messed up everybody's life. It's true, you know, and I, I just want to say I, I love all those shows too. <laughs> I really do. They are good. <laughs> But the truth is, your key question was in our universe. Now we talk about other universes, heaven and hell. The Bible speaks of life in heaven. The Bible speaks through his prophets, God speaks. There is amazing life in heaven, in the other universe. And there is a dark life in hell itself. And it's not the final destination because the lake of fire is the final destination. So the Bible is vibrant with life in heaven. And I think that that would be something that you should investigate. That would make a great series, actually. Oh, yeah. If we had the money, we'd make a series. That'd be <laughs> awesome. Anyway, thanks very much for your question.